Today is uh, November 2nd. And um, that's snow. Awesome. Crap starting already. The best and easiest way to make the char cloth would be to use a tin of some sort, like an Altoids can or something like that. And uh, the only other thing you'll need is some 100% cotton squares. So I'm going to be using um, some gauze because that's cotton and I don't have to cut up a t-shirt. I don't have an Altoids can, but I can use tin foil. Take out a piece. And double it up. Take out a few pieces of gauze and just stagger them in there. Let's see if we can do four. Should be more than enough for our needs. You can do as many or as little as you want. And then, what do you want? What? Interested in what I'm doing. Then we'll just fold these up. And there it is, ready to put on the fire or a flame. I'm going to be using the torch and I'm going to go outside for that. Okay, so we're outside here, so we're not sticking up the house. And the biggest thing, if you're using, it, it, it would be best to use some sort of burner. But um, you can do it with the torch, you just have to kind of wave it back and forth and be even with it. Be sure not to put it too close to the flame, because you'll, you'll melt right through the tin foil. It'll also be better off if you use some sort of box, but... So... Turn her on low. And we'll just heat her up. What we're looking for is smoke, and we'll look for that smoke to stop. Basically, you're kind of making a, a mini wood gas fire. The smoke that you see coming out of here is flammable. See the flame? Using this method, you might not get a complete char on it. You might not get a, a perfect, um, you know, even char on it, but you will definitely will get pieces that are usable.
start through one little layer of tin foil there. Holding it in that spot too long. Should be good for now. Should get some usable pieces out of that. Let's inspect here. So this one's nice. This one isn't too bad. We're a little brown on the edges, but still usable. And uh, that looks pretty good. So these two pieces look pretty good. These, not so much. But I'm just doing it to test it out. So we only need a little bit. Again, having a more even, even um, heat will definitely help you out. And uh, also having... Um, Having something along the lines of a burner, uh, that'll work a lot better. And also having a tin will obviously help a lot better. It'll heat all the way around. I was just basically heating the bottom of this. So we got some cloth to, to test this out with. Let's go back inside. What we want to do is we're going to take some of our tinder. pack it in place. And that's the one bad thing about using the gauze is it's kind of stringy. You want to make sure it doesn't ride over the edge because our tolerance is so tight that if it does it'll actually um, hold you from at, uh, pushing it in. So what I like to do is if you take it and move it around in the air like kind of like this and uh, get some fresh air in there. So let me uh, shut off the light here so we can see a little better. So I made sure we got some fresh air in there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to slam it really hard. You can see it just lit that right up. So you can basically take that out. And drop it right in your fire. And there you go. There's your uh, post-apocalyptic fire-making tool.